The Hike by Allison Farrell. The Hike. Yoo-hoo! Almost ready? Just one more cut. Just a few more feathers. We are going on a hike. Ren, L, Hattie, Bean. It's our favorite thing to do. Shook, 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 shook. Hey, wait for me. Look at this chipmunk nest. And look at all the different plants oh, and a swarm of bees. This is definitely one of those books that you wanna get your own copy of so that you can see all of the special little features in each picture. In the beginning, we run like maniacs until a ripe patch of thimbleberries slows us down. Elle teaches us how to make leaf baskets. Here's Ren's sketchbook with the instructions. First, find one big leaf with five tips. Two, poke stem into the opposite end of the leaf. Three, tip by tip, poke leaf tips with the stem. And then four, pack with berries. We have a sketchbook that we use as well. We use a nature journal when we're out exploring and I'll put a link to that below. So just ask your parents and you can download your own nature journal for free. Like this, Al? Yep. We may have eaten too many berries. Is that possible? I thought we were saving some for later. Uff! Look at the woodpecker. Tap, 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 tap. The hike gets steep and the trail narrows. Boo! Ah, oh, Hattie! How did you get up there so fast? We get lost. Hmm, which way is north? Pretty sure we were not supposed to cross a river yet. <laughs> Look, she's got hers upside down. Did we go left after the berry patch? Right, I think. Ren, what's another word for blue? Azure? Cerulean? Cobalt? Here's Ren's sketchbook again. It says Hattie always finds the route and it's got a picture of the compass. And this is the bird's eye view of Hattie. Notice she's looking down on her. We're halfway there. In no time, we get back on track. <gasps> Who made these? Do you see those tracks? Sometimes we see tracks like that in our yard. A deer walks past. Bean sneezes. Achoo! Whew! The deer vanishes so quickly, we wonder if it was ever really there. A light rain comes and goes. The birds are happy. We listen to them chirp and clatter in the trees. This is the river we were looking for. Right, Hattie? Here's Ren's sketchbook again. These are the birds we saw at the river. Hattie gets tired. Elle offers to carry her. We can't hear you. I said 30 minutes to the top. <gasps> Look at that. Soon, Al is tired too. Giddy up! <laughs> I can't do this much longer. Rides over, everyone. Burr, it's getting chilly. At the top, Ren takes out her flag. Elle reads her poem, and Hattie releases feathers into the wind. <gasps> we did it! They're going down the hill and back home and look, you can see all of the constellations and the stars. Now here's more notes from Ren's sketchbook. Some things I saw today. This is exactly what you can do in your own nature journal. Don't forget, I've got a link below where you can print out your own free nature journal. Just have your parents do that for you. It says some things I saw there were barred owls, dead trees, and look, she's pretending to be a nurse. 
the swarm of bees. Bzzz. I recommend you get your own copy of this book so you can see all of these details up close. The mushrooms. Oh, wow, a vanilla leaf. And look, a porcupine. And thimbleberries. They love thimbleberries. And look, a beaver. Next, she drew pictures of all of the different trees. And here are the phases of the moon. The end. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Please make sure that if you want to hear more that you hit the subscribe button so that you can find the other videos in the series. Have a great day and get outside.